Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's summarize what we've learned so far with the converging lens. In the first two instances, we place the object at twice the distance of the focal length. So this is the focal length right here. We start with the object twice the distance of the focal length, and we found that the image was formed on the other side. Real image, inverted, same size as the object. But then as we move the object farther and farther and farther away from the lens, we found that the image started forming closer and closer and closer to the lens, and eventually closer and closer and closer to the focal point on the other side. In the limit, as the object goes to infinity in this direction, the image will form at the focal point on the other side of the lens. In the second condition, we began to move the object closer and closer and closer to the focal point instead of farther away. What happened then is the image began to form farther and farther and farther away from the lens. And in the limit, as the object reached the focal point over here, the image would form at infinity. It's still a real image, it's inverted, and it becomes larger and larger as the image goes farther out. In the other two instances, we brought the object between the lens and the focal point. First, we began at the halfway point, and we began to move the object closer and closer and closer to the focal point in this direction. Initially, we had an image forming over here. It was a virtual image. It was a virtual image because it formed in front of the lens, and as we brought the object closer and closer and closer to the focal point, the image would form farther and farther and farther away. The image is upright, it became larger and larger, and in the limit, as the object reaches the focal point here, the image would go to infinity and become infinitely large. And finally, we started at the halfway point between the lens and the focal point, and then we began to move the object closer and closer and closer to the lens. We began with an image that was at the focal point, and as we began to move the object closer to the lens, the image would follow the, the object and come closer and closer and closer to it. In the end, as the object gets really close to the lens, the image will be right behind it, still a virtual image, but upright and almost the same size as the object as the object gets closer and closer to the lens. So that's what happens with converging lenses as you place the object in various places and as you move the object to the left and the right from that initial point. So now you have a good feel for what happens to the image with converging lenses. Now we'll begin to do the same thing with diverging lenses in the next set of videos.